So here's what, here is what I've been working on all weekend. Uh, well, yeah, cause it's Sunday night or no, it's Monday night. Um, this is just elements that I've had out. Oops, that is an actual elements that I have out to work with still. So I'm just gonna set those aside. Um, there we go. This stack here are elements that I've used in this in the making of these things and um, that I'm planning on using in the interiors of these things. Um, this is just scrap paper that I'm going to embellish into a little, like a little tag booklet um, that you can uh, write in. I'm going to stitch it in the middle and put me a little decoration here and then a, a hanging element so it can hang on something and that will be a little um, embellishment, something to do with scraps um, that I've learned from the Treasure Cove, no, Treasure Books. Um, she's actually pretty amazing, it has tons and tons and tons of ideas. So many, you guys, so many. All right, so let's start with the little guys. I went ahead and made, I don't know if I've shown you any of this stuff yet. I went ahead and made um, leather covers for little sketchbooks out of this leather it's I don't think it's real leather um sticky backed uh leather for furniture to repair like furniture that has a hole in it or a rip or something that's what this is and you can get it in a couple different widths um I went with small to start just to see if I like how it looks and how how it works and I got um sticky back um a bunch of different sticky back papers and washi tape. That's all this is. So the sticky back paper and the sticky back um, leather is stuck to each other and then I put washi tape in the middle to give it a pretty little binding and that's for each one of these. So I have these. Um, this one has beautiful rose colors in the, in the interior. I, th I just think they're so pretty and I wasn't thinking when I was making them I was just kind of going with the flow and see what I could do I really like this gold color it looks like it looks like book paper and then the green went with it really well the green gold I just think it looks really really pretty and then um, these this is signature paper that I'm gonna and I'll show you in a second here these are the other two um, that are actually ready to sew together. <coughs> um, this one is uh, with a beautiful blue interior, the aqua color, and the green blue tape, which I just thought looked so pretty. Um, and the reason you put it on the inside as well is to cover that is to cover the ugly, basically, the ugly part of the book. That's all you're doing there. Um, so I used two pieces of the, of that, and I left the binding area bare. It's white. And then the paper goes all the way across, and I s slipped it around like that. I just thought it looked really nice. And then these are the signatures. Now a signature is whatever you want it to be. Um, however many pages you feel. Um, rule of thumb is three to five signatures. You want to keep your signatures, depending on the width of the book, of course, but you want to keep your signatures. This is all stuff I've learned recently. Um, odd numbered so that you can, they're nice and centered in the book, preferably. N not a rule, it's just a guideline. Um, so this is 50 pound drawing paper in here, which I love. It's Arteza 50 pound drawing paper, which is really nice. And then just a decorative piece of a page to um, accent the signature and I'm gonna leave this this color I'm just it's gonna be a, a small flap on that side now my thought was to back these and then if this I'm not sure if the pretty paper is too much but I like it so each signature is 
I think three sheets of paper. One, two, three. Nope. Uh, four, five. Five sheets of paper. So each signature is ten pages. So you have ten individual pages. And then front to back you have, well it's drawing paper. So I wouldn't necessarily work on both sides unless you're using a, something light or maybe gessoing this, the, the page or something. But it, um, So you have ten pages in each signature. Ten 20, 30, 40. So that's 50 sheets of paper in in your book. And they'll be sewn in. And I'm going to chop them so that they're not hanging out like that because um, my daughter said she doesn't care for that. I kind of like it. I, I really kind of like it. But um, yeah, the signatures will go in here and I'm going to sew them in, into the back of the book. I might go down... I might go down one, I might go down to three. I'm not liking how bulky this looks. Let's go down to three and see what that looks like. Let's just put two out. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's much nicer. See, I'm thinking four, but I want to put a little um, envelope in here for, I'm going to attach it to this, a little envelope. Ooh, I got nuts this weekend, you guys. <laughs> Um, I made little envelopes, all kinds of sizes, out of paper, um, and I thought I'd paperclip that in there. I thought that'd be a cute little element in the drawing book. You can, I might glue it in so that you can tuck things into it and close it, little papers and whatnot. I might use a bigger envelope. I just haven't decided what size envelope I would want to put in here, or if I would want to attach it to the cover, um, but yeah general idea, uh, this is the general idea that I have. So I have these two books ready to rock and roll and I have a pretty page and you get 10, 10 pages to draw on and then um, another half pretty page and a pretty page and, and you can draw on the pretty, pretty pages as well. You can draw right on that. I mean on the back of it, they're archival. All the, all the paper that you're getting from the, um, from the stores and in your kits and stuff is all archival at this point. Um, they're made for scrapbooking with, they're made to last and to to uh, be used long term. Maybe not a hundred years, but long term. So that's what I have going on for these little, little leather ones that I have made up so far. And then I have this teensy itsy bitsy one. See, he's just a little dude. And he's going to have different kinds. He's a junk journal. Um, and he's got a little green washi tape and the green interior and then he's got three signatures so yeah I think I'm going to knock it down to three signatures <coughs> and they call it a junk journal because you put all kinds of paper there's drawing paper there's um, decorative paper a couple there's pastel paper in here and then there's just regular drawing paper and yeah, each signature has um, different different papers. So there's three pretty little designs on the outside. <coughs> and that's going to get sewn right in there. And I'm going to chop this down too. I just haven't got that far. I'm going to chop those edges down. Maybe not all the way, but a little bit. Because um, this is a junk journal, so it's okay if they... Even in your art journal, it is okay for your journals to have the pages sticking out from the binding if you, <laughs> or the cover, if you don't mind that. <coughs> Sorry, I need to go get some water. But yeah, this is the, the little bitsy one because I had a strip left over off the end and I'm just... This binder clip is too strong, but maybe I'll... Yeah, that's better. It's less intense and not digging into there. Um, so those, that's those. Let me go get some water and then we'll go through the rest of this stuff real quick. Okay, I'm back. Filled up my water cup. I did a workout today, so I figure, I find that when I work out, I cough more. <coughs> so that's these guys. 
And then I made, as you saw, a bunch of little envelopes. I was just sitting watching TV. I watched a tutorial with Treasure Books, and Natasha is her name, and she made all these super cute little envelopes with little wonky, um, wonky cut, which I thought was adorable to put in anything. Um, this one I bought was, came in one of my kits, but I decided I'm gonna keep them all together. And this one, this, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. There we go. This one, I inked all the edges and I made it a little more uniform. I love this paper. I think it is so pretty. The gray and the softness of it just really speaks to me. I'm not really a floral person. So um, when I got all the floral paper in one of my kits, I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> well, there's all kinds of things I can do with it. So these are the cute little envelopes I made sitting watching movies. Um, there's this one with little wonky cuts. I'm, I think I'm going to ink on this one as well. And they've, they've got nice room, so there's quite a bit of room in there for uh, ephemera, tchotchkes, love notes, whatever. This one's a little, little more masculine, but really pretty still. And I inked all the edges and made it look, doesn't that look professional? It's nuts. I was like, oh, look, at, look what I did. <laughs> so excited. So pleased with myself. And then she makes all these different closures and little bits and bobs to put on top of things um, to decorate with. And so while watching TV as well, let me put my envelopes back. I made a bunch of those as well. And it's just collaging. That's all we're doing is collaging stickers and papers and drawings. Isn't that cute? And that's just to stick on like a, a closure for a larger, of course, envelope. You would stick that on as a closure. <coughs> Let me pull out one of these these puppies that to demonstrate um, how that would look. Come on, little baby. There we go. So you could put it on as this is still too big, but as a little closure or decoration for the closure. Um, I just thought, so cute, so cute. So I made a bunch of them. I made round ones and I collaged beautiful pictures together. Um, and I was watching Wolverine and then I watched Deadpool because I thought Wolverine was in Deadpool, but it, he wasn't. Um, I love this one. This one might end up on a bookmark, um, which I contemplated earlier today. Isn't that pretty? And these are off cuts of art. Um, and these were just stickers that I thought went well together. I just glued them together, inked the edges, fun, fun. And then there's, there's just a bunch of them. And I am really beginning to really like collage. And it's something I was like, no, I'm not gonna collage. That's just silly. But look, look how pretty. That's a washi tape sticker back there and a piece of that floral paper and then just a, a piece of paper with a beautiful flower, floral it's daisies and I just thought that looked so pretty so I'm gonna quickly flip through because I could jabber on about these for a while but basically just collage different elements and different textures together this is another one this is one of those frames those white frame things that I got in one of my boxes that I colored up with ink and then put some stickers on, some shiny stickers. Um, just collage that up together. And this one I could make completely round at some point if I need to, but I like the torn elements on it. Um, I think it's pretty. And then just, I left this one white and put a piece, of, a print of a, a little pr a print of a painting back there on just extra paper. And you can put a little um, quote or something on there. And I love this little um, romance daisies stamp. I thought it was pretty so it's the star of the show on here. And this is one of those cards that are just white like this and I stuck washi stickers on it and cut out a wonky shape and just put it together. This was super relaxing to do as well. Um, this is one of uh, Monet's water lilies, right? 
and I just thought that would make a really pretty decoration. And these, that's another, I don't remember what artist this is, but I thought it was pretty. Just on top of that white card again, and there's a little sheet of paper back there. Yeah, and then this is the last one, which I thought turned out so pretty. I like the idea of the painting peeking out from the frame on either side. And then you could put a little um, inspirational quote right there. So that's that's the start of those, which was super fun and relaxing to do. And I had a piece of scrap uh, paper left, so I'm going to make a little mini, maybe, maybe, make a little mini, that's why I folded this this way, mini book out of this one. And then there's just a piece of extra paper that would be ideally put in there. See? We can make a little book with black paper in it. <gasps> How fun would that be? And then these... What's the other one? Oh, it's right here. Duh. And this... Where is my other tray? Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> I, I'm... I got full on, you guys. Full on berserk with with all of this stuff. So these are the covers that I made that, <coughs> let me pull this out of here. Um, where did that extra cover go that I had floating around? I missed one and I was like, oh no, I missed, oh here it is. I missed one. So this is what they start as. So this is a good, good thing um, that I missed this one. This is how it started. It's just a piece of 12 by 12 um, decorative cardstock. One-sided, because that's what the pad was that I bought for Christmas last year. And then I took a bunch of printables and glued them in. I made a pocket. I folded it into a book. And then each book... I haven't done these yet. That's what these are as well. They're just different, a different size. Um, it's the same, uh, the same, same. Uh, this one though, these I did bigger and put a pocket on the front, on down on the bottom instead of along the side for each one of these. So each one of these now has um, a signature in it of 50 pound drawing paper. And there's a cute little pocket in the back of this one. And you have um, pages. I think I did, how many, how many did I do in here? One, two, I think. Uh, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So there's 18 sheets in each each little booklet, and I hand sewed matching, or sorry, matching thread or complementary thread. I did purple on these to go with the purple theme, and then on these guys I did the blue to go with the blue. And these, the rest of them have the pocket in the front because that's how I meant to make them. But this one, the um, pockets on the back, because the stars wouldn't hang down the right way, they'd be upside down, which I guess would have been fine, but it bugged me. So I did um, aqua, and then <coughs> this guy, pocket in the front, and I used that soft blue color to sew, to sew it together. It's just a three three hole signature, but it does lay flat to use, which is my personal preference any kind of lay flat um, surface and since it's sewn it will lay flat for you so I have these all done up and these ones that have the gold on them I did with beige because I don't have any gold thread and I thought that was that was pretty right simple I needed to get it done <clears throat> these took an evening to put together um, stars right side up pocket and thread yeah and then I made a bunch of crinkle paper I'm um I, I made a bunch of crinkle paper so oh this is another couple little teensy books that I'm gonna make I'm not gonna get into that right now so that's these that's where that's going and these 
these I thought I could use for little inserts inside these. Um, but this is crinkle paper that I made. Um, I put together a started to put together a signature. I'm gonna use like for junk journals. Um, I'm gonna put get some lined paper, cardstock, and make some pockets. Um, I tried tea dyeing paper, air quote. It's just ink. I don't like the thought of dyeing with tea or coffee. It bugs me. I'm not sure why. And it turned out okay. But um, I feel like it's too light. Maybe that's just me. It's probably just me. But I also then got carried away with um, the ink and the 50 pound paper. And instead of, um, I wet a bunch of this paper and put it in the brown ink and water and a cookie sheet. My daughter has giant cookie sheets and I put them all in there and I let it soak and it only got this dark. So I was disappointed. Let them dry. And then I went ahead and instead of doing the tea dyeing, I did some ink dyeing. I have plastic sheets to protect my table and I put the ink right on the plastic sheets. I got them at the dollar store. So it's okay to muck them up. That's what they're for. Um, they're to protect the surface I'm, I don't want to destroy. And I blobbed the ink on and laid these down just like you saw me doing these. Blobbing ink down, lay it down, lift it up, see what happens. So they turned out nice, but the paper's crackly now. And this is that 50 pound drawing paper. So it's not naturally crackly. <coughs> so I did a bunch of them. I did um, pink and gold. Not again, not my my favorite, but it does. That's gold, by the way, or bronze. It's not brown. Um, and then more tea dye paper. And then I thought I need to get um, like just plain typing paper and line paper, or plain drawing paper and line paper to do in the signatures as well. And I was futzing about with putting them together. And this is one that got folded, like the paper the big piece got folded so now it has um these fold creases all over in it heather said she liked it she said that's cool about the big sheet she's like that's totally cool i would frame that and hang it on my wall that looks like modern art i was like oh i mean okay and once again it's all aesthetics right it's all um this is uh mixed media paper i thought i'd throw I have several um, loose sheets of mixed media paper cut to size, <coughs> but I thought making a signature, you know, crinkle paper, some occasional nice drawing paper, um, tuck it all together, make some pockets, and throw together a signature, and um, you know, make it interesting and pretty and fun. If you're not into junk journaling or you've never heard of it, basically it is junk paper that you throw in a journal and you decorate it and you can draw and paint on it you can journal on, in the journal that's what it's for or you can just stick in if you're a person that likes stickers and that's your thing like you like to stick in you like to glue in elements and st stick stickers and then that that's what junk journaling it could be anything you want it to be but yeah I made a bunch of these papers there's just a bunch of he died and some of the ink got on these which I don't mind it just made. and then some I wrinkled so they are all even more crackly and crinkly um, some have tears um, some have that ink look but yeah so these eventually will be used in journals just not right this minute because I'm, I'm not there yet but that's I made these <coughs> took the whole evening um, this guy, I'm going to learn how to do, uh, in her next video next week, she's going to do a certain stitch to bind a, a journal together. Um, and this is an art, like this is an art journal. It's for, it's got mixed media paper in it. Um, I went, I made my covers, my beautiful covers. I thought they turned out so nice. And, um, I love this color the soft I just loved the print and it was roses that I distorted the print I blew it way up and um so it made this cool 
different texture that I printed. It was a printable. And I made a little pocket right there. It's a little stiff, so you can always let slide thin things in there, but that's okay. And then I made my signatures. Oh no, this is watercolor paper. And I sewed them all together, and I wasn't thinking after I sewed all my signatures together, um, how, how am I going to buy in the book? Like, how am I... How I have it all together now, so it's together. How am I gonna How am I gonna bind it? So she's doing a certain stitch that she's gonna do, and there's a tab binding that I was gonna try, but I wanted this to be more professional, more sturdy, because I love how the the covers turned out. So next week I'm gonna watch her video and I'm gonna try to do that stitch on this. It's really decorative and pretty. Um, so that's what this one is going to be. Uh, and I, this, so this is going to be a watercolor pad for somebody to use, to, to have. Um, and that is my dream, to, to make my own watercolor journals that I like for me. Um, close that drawer back up. So last night I got carried away with covering these guys. I covered this one with a, it's got fuzzies on it. This fabric is really, I'm going to have to run a lint roller over it. Um, but I covered the with, um, look at that beautiful paper. Isn't that pretty? It looks very old, vintagey. And I got some glitter paper in an off cut, in an off cut dollar store batch of papers that I found. Um, this is poking up. I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue in there and pop that down. Um, but I think this interior looks amazing with this brown, soft, like velour feeling. Um, oh, I'm going to have to glue that down too. Gosh darn it. Some of it got away from me last night. Um, I got tired. Um, wasn't sure how this paper, this fabric was going to go down with the glue and stuff. And then I glued this really pretty um, rose on the front of this one for decoration. So that's as far as I got with this one. And then this one, I've, I've tucked all the elements that I want to use in. This is going to be a... Uh, um, I was going to say Nautilus. That's not the word I want. Uh... Nautical, that's the word, nautical themed, uh, because the pa the the cover's kind of nautical. It's got an anchor, yeah, it's a map, and I glued, I had these little wood elements, I went ahead and I thought they were cute, I glued them on the top on the cover, they kind of stick up a little bit, I thought they were a cute little element, um, and then the interior of this one I went ahead and put in a nice little pocket pretty deep. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, I learned how to fold the paper so that it has a little bit of room. Um, and then I put it down, stuck it down with double stick tape and a touch of glue just so that it really sticks down. Um, and then on the other side, I made a little belly band so that I can tuck in where that, this guy, one of the, this is the one that's going to go in the other journal over there. <coughs> but so that I could tuck in one of the little extra see isn't that nice one of the extra little drawing pad, pads as a extra element in your watercolor or junk journal so you have a drawing or I might make some of these in the future you use watercolor paper just um I'll need to get a consensus, but that's what this little band is to keep that in there so that when you close your book, it's in there. It's not going to fall out on you. Um, but these are all the different elements that I want to use in creating the book. So I have all kinds of different little things pulled out and I have them tucked in here so that when I get my pages together and I get that far, I can go ahead and do that. Now today, <coughs> I've sewed together my my first one and I'm, I'm not um, particularly thrilled with how it turned out because it's crooked. Um, I should have and for the next ones I will and I, I figured this out after the fact of course because that's how you learn. Um, I should have measured the center 
and on the inside measured the center and drew drew a line and measured it out like from the top to here and then from the bottom to here and then get my center mark so that I know where I'm sewing on my um, inserts. It turned out nice. I mean, it's not bad at all. Um, there's just more room on one end than there is on the other. And I think it turned out nice, but I did it upside down. This was supposed to be the front. I put that beautiful sunflower -y kind of dude on there. And um, yeah, I haven't done any pockets, but I liked the idea of this being the front because I like this sunflower situation right here. That's what that, that is, by the way, if you can't tell. Um, and I love this paper. So I did it upside down because I made a pocket, which I'll show you. I made a really beautiful pocket for the interior and it, when I sewed it in, it's upside down. So the book now goes this way. <laughs> Um, it's slightly crooked on the back. It's slightly crooked. <clears throat> I mean, for me, it just makes it more um, uh, handmade because it's not perfect by any means. Um, I, I put a rose on this side. Uh, so there's a rose on the front and then there's this daisy on the back, which is metallic-y feeling. And um, I glued it down with um, Elmer's glue. I put the Elmer's glue on one of these. I saved the backs of the where the stickers go <coughs> like this is the back of, of a sticker um to put the glue on and then put this in the glue and lifted it up and stuck it on here so that's how I got those on there and it didn't ruin the fabric this is a soft soft um suede velvety it's just soft and I am, I like that. I think it's nice. I have a dark brown fabric that I found for $4. There's almost a yard of this for four bucks. And then there's a, almost two yards of this one, or maybe three, for $4 at Joanne Fabrics. <coughs> so <coughs> there's this one. When you open it, instead of the sunflower, you get in the, you're getting the, um, the more green, which is still pretty. Um, and then you have your mixed media paper, which I sewed in with my actual waxed um, book making thread. It's uh, really nice. Um, but there's each signature has one, two, three, four, five pages. So that's 10 altogether, 10, 10 pages per signature. Um, so there we go. There's a signature. There's our binding right there. And there, so I wanted there to be room for if you use paint to, for the paper to expand when you close the book, it's still going to close nice. Um, so there's 10, uh, pages per signature. If you don't do front and back, uh, if you do front and back on the mixed media paper, it's 20 pieces. You can create 20 pieces of art right here. Um, and then I have seven signatures in here. So that's 10, 70 pages, one sided potentially. Um, and if you don't, if you want to work two sided, you can, but yeah, so I have all the signatures in and in the middle, I put in this really pretty surprise folder to put little ephemera in and <coughs> there's little stamps and tag and little extra piece of fabric. There's a pocket there. There's a pocket here for a bookmark, which I'll show you in a second. Extra drawing papers, extra pa different papers to draw and scribble on, some different textured papers, a tag, some stamps to throw in, just for inspiration. Inspiration to create. You can collage these in or pull them all out and put your own stuff in if you think if this isn't speaking to you. But there's a little pocket here, there's a pocket there, and there's a pocket here, and I, I glued this pocket on here because I thought it was so pretty. And then another one of my little elements, my embellishment elements, sticker. And then on the other side of the, of, so it's not messing with, it's completely separate from your 10 pages 
to create art on. And then over here, there's some more elements for you, some more papers, some background watercolor papers I've created backgrounds on, um, some decorative paper, some just fun things stuffed in that pocket. And then over here, we have a cute owl and another embellishment and a few more papers and stamps. And I just thought that was a nice thing, a surprise in the middle. Um, I asked my daughter, I got, and I, your opinion matters too, because you're an artist, right? You're creative. Um, if you got something like this, would you want your pockets to be like this pocket page to be like this in the middle of, um, scoot those back in there, the book like this? <coughs> or would you rather it was just pulled out of there and tucked in the front or back? Let me know. Um, and that's just one kind of pocket that I can do. If you don't like this kind of thing, we could just skip it all together. But I thought it was nice. And then back here, I'm going to put a belly band. And this actually, this one is meant to go with this book. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm just feeling it. So this will be tucked back here. So there'll be mixed media paper. There'll be a little drawing paper pad and you can put your own little tucks in there. Um, so this I thought was really, and I'm going to put a closure, ribbon closure on it right here. Um, that will not be sticking out like that. Um, but yeah, this is the very first one that I sewed together and put together and I'm happy with it, but there are a few, you know, a few little things I would do differently. <coughs> what do you think? What do you think? How cool is that? I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in love with it. It's a little weighty, which isn't bad. I don't know how much it weighs. Maybe it might be two pounds. I'll have to weigh it. <laughs> but it is nice. Um, and if you didn't want something chunky like this, if you wanted it like halved with three nice signatures and a nice little set of pockets and a little, you know, you don't want the, the extra insert thing. Um, I, I could create something smaller so that, yeah, dig in. Do, I'm really loving doing this, obviously, right? Obvi. And this is the last one I did. Um, I love the cover. This is just paper. Um, I already punched some holes because this was going to be the first one I sew. Um, but I love the leaf on the front so much. I just love this one. This one just speaks to me. I like the paper cover. It's very smooth. feels very clean. Um, I had some of that glitter paper. I created a little pocket right there on a whim. Um, I'm not really digging the placement of it, but it's already in, so I could take it out but I'm not going to. Here's all the signatures. I haven't created a pocket. I don't know if I'm I don't, know, I don't know if I should or shouldn't, um, but here's all my signatures, ready, holes poked, ready to sew in, and this is the interior and the exterior, uh, which I I just love this, the, the colors a lot. Um, so that's that guy. And then last but not least, um, in this little little video of show and tell, this is what I got stuck on at the end of the night last night. Why I was up so late. Because I was up very late last night. Um, playing with all this stuff. And not to say this is not creating art. Because for me, this is art. This is all creating, being creative, um, making. I think it's artistic. Other people do not think that journaling is art, and that is fine, um, but it is a very creative process. So for me, I wasn't painting or drawing, but I was creating and creating papers and creating stuff to draw and to, to, to play with. So last night at the end of the evening, the last thing that I did, another off cut, um, all this stuff needs to stay with this basket because when I put this, I'm going to do some drawings so this stuff cannot be on the table, obviously. Um, 
stating the obvious. Uh, so the last thing I did was bookmarks. Let's scoot that over a little bit. And I think these turned out so nice. They're um, collaged. They're elegant, but I feel like they're elegant. I feel like they're uh, vintage. Maybe vintage is a better word. They feel very vintage to me. Um, I had a bunch of pa papers with birds, a bunch of cardstock, a bunch of stickers, um, some markers, some beautiful sticker paper that I put on the back of each one of these. So I'm going to zoom in and show you each one. Man. So this one has this beautiful green background. It's just stuck on a dark black cardstock. And then these birds. <coughs> There's some more of that green paper back there that I stuck on. And then the, uh, the little cut of the birds I put off to the side a little bit. And then I did some gold marker around um, and put on a little jute string. And I, I don't know, I just think it turned out so nice. It's firm, but it's not too thick. Like I would, I wouldn't, and I'm picky about this, so it can't be too thick to use as an actual bookmark, right? You can't have too many elements making it bulky. Um, so I kept that in mind while I was making these. I wanted them to be um, flat, but visually appealing. And this, this one was the last one I did. Um, I had this rose um, paper. I don't know if at the back one of these has the rose paper on it. Yeah. Nope. Nope, it doesn't. So I had this rose paper and I put that down and then I had this beautiful gold paper. So I put that on the back. Um, I love this. I love this one. I, I just love it. Um, and I went around the edge with the gold to kind of incorporate the gold pen to kind of incorporate it. And it's just marker. It's just a gold metallic marker. And then today I was like, I can't leave it just the blue paper because it's just too plain. It's bugging me. So I put on the little daisies and the little blurb about daisies. And see, I just, I just think it's pretty. The collaged bookmark. And then this one is wider. I have two wide ones and I have four narrow ones. These were the same um, purple paper that I had. <coughs> or this is black, but these two were purple paper that I had that I cut about the same size as this one. Um, so this bird is glued on. Um, he's got a couple little, you know, those photo corners that moms used to have. That's the kind of what I was thinking about there. I did a little corner triangle cut of pretty paper and glued it on and went ahead and silvered all the way around. Silver on his beak and his feet just to make him blend in a bit into the into the piece. And then the back is this beautiful um, rose and this was done on a, originally a brown piece of paper so this is this side and then the other side is just this pretty paper with silver I carried the silver through onto the back and then this guy I love owls so I cut him out of a piece of paper thinking I would collage him with other elements um, ended up having this brownish glitter paper left over like an off cut and uh, I went ahead and stuck him on on there he's also on another piece because I the brown was too dark so he's on a light piece of cardstock and then um, stuck onto the brown and then on the back I put this pretty pretty pink kind of off pink gold piece of sticker paper, a little embellishment, and the tie, and I put a little gold on his eyes and on his claws, and the stickers have a little bit of bling to them, so 
don't know. I like it. I think it turned out neat. And then there's the two bigger ones because I wanted to get the whole butterfly on there and these were too narrow for that. So we've got a couple wider ones. Um, stickers, again, glued on, a little bit of doodling on the edges, and then the back is just this beautiful aqua color, which I did the gold ink pad and darkened up the edges on the back just to make it look like an old piece of paper. But that's just gold ink around the edges. <coughs> and the very last one for the video, sorry about the coughing, is um this one. I really liked him. There was a bolder bird right here, but I liked this with the baby bird and the mama bird. I love that. I think it's so pretty. So that's what I accentuated. I cut the other bird's head right off. Poof! No bird for you. <laughs> you're just, uh, you're taking away from the other elements. And a couple pretty stickers. This is a washi sticker. This is a glitter sticker. It's got some little blingy bling to it. <clears throat> I did some gold on the eyes and beaks on the birds. I went ahead and used the ink pad on the purple paper and um, left this side purple and the gold on top of the purple kind of makes it look brown. They, they, they wash each other out. So um, a yellow and um, purple together make brown. So there you have it. And then the gold ink pen all around the edges to give it a little sparkle. And then the back is just this really beautiful paper that I, I think I like it. Um, it looks like an old book book page, the interior book page. And I took the ink pad, the gold ink pad, and fuzzed up the edges of this one. Yeah, so there's all my bookmarks that I made. Um, this took hours. Well, maybe not hours. It took about an hour and a half, probably, because it was the end of my night. And I wasn't done creating end of my night. It was like one in the morning. <laughs> When I got looked at the clock, I was like, oh, God, I have to go to bed. I have to be up in four hours for work. <coughs> uh, so these were the last things that I created. And I was going to um, take one of these guys. And he lives, the owl one. Any one of them, actually. I was going to tuck him in there. See, so he's he's tucked in. His little string's gonna hang out, or you could leave him kind of peeking out the top a little bit like that. And then you have a bookmark for where you're at in your book. How neat is that? I mean, which bookmark would you put in here with with all this stuff? I like the owl. That's just me. Maybe him. I don't know. I like them all. But yeah, that was the idea with the bookmarks, or to sell them individually um, as collage elements. Um, my daughter was like, I could probably sell these guys for, because they're bigger and they take more time. Well, they all take about the same amount of time. So I was thinking about selling them for $2 each. <coughs> and she said I should sell these for three and these for two. And then my um, printed ones that are my art that I print and make a bazillion um, bookmarks uh, I sell for a dollar each so I, ha I have different bookmarks at different price points for different reasons let me know what you think about that in the comments below but yeah here's the other side of our of our bookmarks which I think is also interesting to see um, yeah so yeah I know what you think of all this stuff in the in the comments uh, below, and uh, this is just a, a mini vlog uh, to touch base, show you guys what I've been doing for the last few days, and um, say hi. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on? What have you been creating? What have you been up to? Um, do you have a, a favorite thing that I've done? Uh, is this not your your bag? Is this not your thing? Do you not want to see this? Um, this is the kind of stuff that's going to be shared though on Patreon is all the all the side stuff that I'm doing for shows and stuff and whatnot. And for myself, this I think is fun. 
Um, I won't be doing all of this on the channel. <clears throat> I will be doing some of the creating of this kind of stuff on the Patreon channel. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm at. This is what's going on. I need to re-jigger re all this stuff and put it away. Um, I got myself Reese's at the dollar store. I haven't had Reese's Pieces in a while, so I got myself some of these <laughs> to, to munch on. Um, I thought when I start getting that tickle in the back of my throat that's going to make me cough during a video, I could... It's a dry spot. It's a dry, tickly spot in my in my throat, which is way too much information, but it's making me crazy, you guys. It's making me crazy. And people are tired of hearing me cough in videos, so I thought maybe some candy to suck on while I'm filming. Um, I don't really do hard candy, because I choked on hard candy twice as a little kid. almost died once. Um, I literally almost died once. <laughs> so, um... I, I don't really care for hard candies to suck on, but something like this I can do. Um, put, a little, put a little piece of candy in my mouth and hope it curbs that dry spot in the back of my throat. At any rate, this is what's happening. This is what's going on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you love this or, or what or what, what you would do differently. Um, especially concerning the pocket situation, which I really like this. Um, might take out these and shorten them a bit, but I thought that'd be fun to poke in here as a different drawing on tool because it is fun to draw on papers you've never drawn on before. I never would have thought to do it until I got a bunch of weird papers in one of my um, shopping halls or but craft boxes or whatever. Um, so I started drawing on odd papers, textured papers, uh, papers with different elements in them, on them. Handmade papers are so fun. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to stop talking and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!